I'm in Tromso in Norway. That is the Tromso Bridge and the beautiful Arctic church there. Now, if you've been following my videos from here for the last couple of days, you might have noticed something a bit weird every time I'm under artificial light. And let's be honest, that's most of the time. Uh, because while it does get light in the middle of the day here, we're in the Arctic Circle. It's winter. The sun doesn't get above the horizon. Mind you, when it does get light, this place is beautiful. Anyway, you might have seen a bit of a weird effect if I take a slow motion video of that street lamp and the ground under it. You'll see what I mean. There's this kind of weird strobing, rolling effect going on. And the reason for that is something you might not know, the difference between the European and American power grids. See, the European power grid runs at 50 hertz, 50 cycles a second. That means the alternating current in the wires switches direction 100 times a second, 50 cycles, back and forth, back and forth. And that means that all these lights that you can see pretty much dim imperceptibly 100 times a second. Not enough that you can see it with the naked eye, but the camera will pick it up. Now, OK, that's not a major problem if your camera runs at the same rate as the lights. The lights run at 50 hertz, British television runs at 50 hertz. But unfortunately, I'm using an iPhone which is designed in the US for the American power grid. The American power grid chose to run at 60 hertz, 60 cycles a second. So American TV runs at 60 or 30 frames a second. So the camera is recording at 30 frames a second, the light is pulsing at 50 hertz, those two are out of sync, and so sometimes you get light, sometimes you get dark. But why the rolling effect? Well, for that, we have to understand the rolling shutter in a camera, or in any modern camera. Old film cameras don't do this, obviously they just expose a shot every time a frame goes by, but no, no, not this. This camera, and all modern cameras run a line at a time, scrolling down the screen which means that it can take a fraction of a second difference for it to go from the top of the frame to the bottom. And the result is this rolling effect. Some of those lights are recorded when the light is fully on, and some of those lines are recorded when the light is dim. And that's the reason. That's the reason you have this kind of weird artificial rolling light problem when you're filming with an American device in Europe. Of course, the easy way to fix it would be for Apple to just have a 25 frames a second option, but that would be far, far too difficult for them. And that is something you might not have known.